Good morning. Uh, retirees, veterans, friends of the armed forces, greetings from Naval Submarine Base New London. I'm Captain Ken Curtin, Commanding Officer of Subbase, and I'm pleased to welcome you to this virtual event. Retired Master Chief Paul Dillon, my retired activity officer at Fleet and Family Services Center, has put together a great lineup of speakers and presenters for you. And those speakers and presenters have a wealth of information to pass on to you. My hope in this short video message is to update you a little bit about me, since I'm the new guy in the group here. I also hope that my lines of effort for the base, which I will highlight shortly, will continue to make your quality of life and interaction and opportunities at the base even better. First and foremost, I'm excited to be here today. Taking command of Subbase New London is very special for me. It has been home for my family and I for nearly half of my career. It was March of 1986 when I first walked through the gates of Subbase New London as a young petty officer reporting for basic enlisted submarine school. I don't think I really even knew what a submarine was back then. I just knew that I was promised to get some advanced electronics training, and I was told that food on a submarine is better than anywhere else. And in hindsight, both of those expectations were spot on over the years. Since that time, I've served on two fast attack submarines here at this waterfront, the USS City Corpus Christi and the USS Dallas. I spent numerous tours at sub school, both as a staff and as a student, and one tour at Undersea Warfighting Development Center on the base here. During those tours, I lived in three different units in our Navy housing. My children spent countless hours at the Youth Center and the CDC. <clears throat> my family and I, and based on that, my family and I truly call Subbase New London Southeastern Connecticut home. So having the opportunity to now command what is, in my opinion, the finest submarine base in the world is very exciting and humbling at the same time. I've had the opportunity over the past few weeks to meet with many of the great Americans who work tirelessly to make this base what it is. Of the some 6,500 sailors and 2,300 DOD and Department of Navy civilian and contractors stationed and working on subbase in London, only about 850 of them actually work as direct subbase sailors. But I can honestly say that from the people I've met and from those I've observed, they are all 100% committed to making subbase safe and secure supporting the training schoolhouses and the 16 submarines that are home ported here, and making Subbase a great place for the more than 18,000 sailors, families, retirees, veterans who work, live, and visit the Subbase. As I prepared to take the helm on September 24th, I thought long and hard on what it is going to take to keep Subbase on its current upward trajectory of exceptional fleet, fighter, and family support. That led me to develop the following three main lines of effort. First, to steadfastly provide for the safety and security of Subbase New London. Second, to untirely support our tenant commands and our enduring mission in readying deployable forces and future submarine sailors. And third, to aggressively pursue quality of life improvements, opportunities for our sailors, our families, retirees, veterans, and community. That third line of effort clearly involves all of you. In my Navy career, I've observed that the best bases have, been, have had the best community support with strong ties and partnerships. Connecticut and the Southeastern Connecticut community have long been supportive of the Navy and this base. And that's because of you and the entire retiree and veteran community in this area. Your efforts have been tremendous in helping our young sailors understand that Southeastern Connecticut and New England are great places to live and work. And that the community outside their door has so much more to offer than the virtual community of computers and video games that they find in their rooms and are so reluctant to leave. I appreciate those efforts and I appreciate you. So let's continue to pave a two-way street here. I want you to feel welcome and supported here, to feel at home at Subbase. And I want our sailors to get out and get involved with you and the entire community beyond our gates. As I've mentioned, I've learned that the best duty stations are those in which both civilian retiree and veteran communities and the installation of strong ties, cooperation, and partnerships. I consider Subbase one of the best. That's why I requested to be considered for its command. I could not be happier or more honored to lead Subbase team, and I look forward to working with all of you, our supporter, retirees, and veterans, as we continue to strengthen our Subbase home. Thank you all very much.